Shall I fetch your weapons, master? Yes. But first, comb your hair. Your lack of grooming is intolerable. What a day! Sure makes you proud to be an American. Yes, sir. Now get out there, Parker, and take some great pictures of Cap and me together. Right. But you better practice your smile, J.J. Uh, oh, right. Mr. Jameson, publisher of the Daily Bugle. Yes, but if you want an autograph, I'm... I'm very busy, right? Funny, isn't it? Captain America puts on a mask, does his thing, and even old prune-faced Jameson loves him. But when a guy like Spider-Man does the same thing, people call him a menace. Why, Peter, you sound like Spider-Man's press agent. Hey, New York. In this age of newly awakened patriotism, it is my honor and privilege to officially open our first, but not last, Captain America Day. Uh-oh. According to my spider sense, we've got trouble. And now, here's the man we've all been waiting for, the living legend of World War II, the star's final Avenger, Captain America! Peter, I brought along lots of film. Mr. Jameson, people of New York, I appreciate, but really don't deserve, this great honor. For once, I agree, you sanctimonious patriotic swine. What? That voice. You're not Jameson. Who's that? Hardly. It's the Red Skull. Where'd he come from? Everyone, keep back. Skull. Indeed. This battle must be waged by just the two of us. So allow me to disperse this rabble. Run! Get out of here! And now, you star-spangled fool! Surprises, madman. Now's my chance to show that Spidey's the tiger when it comes to heroics. An old weapon this time, Captain. Gas. <laughs> hey, what the blazes is going on here? You'll have to do better than that, Skull. Heads up, people, it's bargain day. Spider-Man. Thank you, Webhead. Now sleep while you can, Captain America. Your nightmare is just beginning. Anybody get the number of that Sherman tank? Uh-oh. My spider tracer will track him. by the Red Skull. In fact, you and that skull-faced cretin are probably partners. I used to think Mr. Jameson was wrong about you, Spider-Man. But now... Spider-Man, let him get away! Spider-Man, just yeah, hide him! You're not American! Hmm. You're Seems no this isn't good. quite the time for an explanation, so... You can run away from us, traitor! But you can't run away from the truth! Do you hear me, Spider-Man? Spider-Man isn't simply a masked criminal. He's 
He's also a cowardly turncoat, a sellout, and the worst traitor since Benedict Arnold. Hey, where are you going with your Spider-Man collection? Hoping isn't doing any good. I've got to find Cap. It's a good thing I planted one of my handy-dandy spider tracers on his shield. Look! There he is! There's that Glory hasn't turned against me. <clears throat> there he is! And on top of everything else, he's now ripped up the flag! Uh, I'd like to stick around and, uh, Recite the Pledge of Allegiance or something, but I have a hunch you wouldn't listen. Other inventions worked most admirably today, Dr. Neiman. Pray that your latest creation works equally well tonight, when I use it on my helpless captive. Yes, Eskal. And I wonder, Robbie, if maybe Mr. Jameson is right. Maybe deep down inside, Spider-Man was jealous of Captain America. Maybe without realizing it, Spider-Man wanted Cap to be captured. Well, I'm no psychologist, Peter, but I know there's only one way for Spider-Man to clear himself. Yeah, but how can Spidey rescue Cap when he can't even be seen in public? Oh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. Maybe I can get around and track my spider tracer. Hmm, it's not the greatest fit, but all of us crime fighters can't afford designers long johns. Hmm, maybe in the dark nobody will notice. Okay, Cap, for you and Uncle Sam, I'll take you. But boy, that costume is sure a lousy fit. when you gave that gung-ho pep talk to the Joes and my fighter squadron, Cap. Man, it seems like only yesterday that... My spider trace... Hold it! This is where I get off. Hey, Cap, wait! You forgot your parachute! my plan of vengeance into its final phases, Captain. Allow me to treat you to this demonstration. But see what occurs after Dr. Neiman subjects those animals to his latest contraption. All right, Dr. Neiman, you may begin. scientific miracle is quite obvious, Captain America. The dog and the cat have, to put it simply, exchanged minds. The cat's mind now inhabits the body of the dog, and vice versa. Imagine what the outcome will be when the two of us are subjected to this. 
The full-scale mind transfer machine. No, you can't mean. Oh, but I do, Captain. Consider the possibilities. Your mind trapped inside the body of the Red Skull, locked away in one of this castle's stinking dungeons, while the mind of the Red Skull inhabits the powerful body of everyone's favorite hero, Captain America. With your body and my brain, there is nothing I cannot accomplish, including the total domination of your beloved country. <laughs> This is it. Unless a lot of people park their skull ships on the roofs of their castles. The skull, one of the Voto electric cells has been interrupted. We have an intruder. Very well. Activate your security devices. That's what they're for. We have more urgent matters. The skull probably bought this place from Dracula or some werewolf. So far, this has been a piece of cake. Oop. I'm afraid the cake just went up. Let's see, how would the real cap handle this? So much for questions. Any night that heavy had to be a robot. Darn. One more year when I don't make a trip list. The walking cigarette lighter. Tisk, tisk, Lego Playmate. What would Smokey the Bear say? Let's try that again, Iron Man. Spider-Man style. Skullface. Sounds like it's coming from the other side. No, the skull couldn't be using the old secret passage behind the bookcase gag, could he? Well, I never said the skull was original. Evil, yes, but original? Uh -uh. Please, Master, I thank you. Not to use my machine for this. I invented it to help mankind, not destroy it. I'll fight it, Skull. As long as there's a trace of strength left in me. I suggest you save your strength, Captain. I do not wish to inhabit a tired body. <laughs> into Captain America's body will be completed. This is what I've dreamed of. Now do it! Yes. As you come out, Eskar.
guys want to be alone, it's okay with me. I beat you before, and I'll do it again. No, you swine. Have a seat in the barber's chair, bonehead. Off the top. Thanks, Spider-Man. Guess we can still get home in time to watch the Late Late Show. Skull's mind, that mind vanished into the air. Now it's a harmless, disembodied spirit. That's the only decent act I've ever done. The Red Skull will not rise again. He should not have called me ugly and all those other names. I may just suggest to a certain newspaper publisher a Spider-Man day. Yeah? No fooling. Hey, I think I'd like that. In fact, we could... Uh, on second thought, I'd probably have to shake hands with Jameson. It just wouldn't be worth it.